All right, last one, and then on to our honorable mention, Holly. So this was one that I had actually read about. I want to say that I feel like I read about this like two or three months back, and then it popped back up on the Message Center that it was finally starting to roll out. So under Message Center, MC786325, Microsoft Outlook and Teams users will soon be able to respond to meetings with a follow. So I'm still kind of scratching my head on it because what this basically does is you hit the word follow, but what it just means to the meeting inviter is that you've responded tentatively. So Holly, tell me a little bit more about (laughs) why you would use this feature. Well, I think one of the things that we see a lot, I think we saw a lot starting in the pandemic and it hasn't really eased up is just this, we're, we're flooded with meetings back to back to backers, all day long. We have high meeting loads. We can't ac- a- accept every meeting that comes our way. However, we're often confronted with that, you know, I I want to continue to get updates about this meeting. I want to stay included, but I don't want to let the organizer, you know, I don't want to accept it just to keep it visible. So if you follow a meeting, it's more of a neutral, like, I keep this in my line of vision, but I'm not going to be there. Um, so people will see this this new option for you know RSVPing for a meeting when they're in Outlook. Yep. So one of the things that I did think was interesting about this as I was kind of reading through this, so the follow responses will inform the organizers, letting them know that you're going to follow. It frees up time. It still blocks your calendar, right? So it's still there regardless. Or but does it, it doesn't show up as, it shows up as free. So if someone else is looking for a me, you know, meeting time with you, yes. this doesn't indicate that you have a blocked off time. So for example, if I were to use a scheduling assistant, again, I'm assuming this because I haven't seen this yet, but if I use a scheduling assistant to auto pick a time, maybe between you you and me, if you or I have followed a meeting, it's free on our calendar. So that will still be shown as available meeting time. Um, So I think this will be helpful. Honestly, I think it will be a really good practice in organizations to follow a meeting that you're not going to attend. I, I would say even, and it, I, it, I, honestly, I look at it like, I, if you want to say tentative, I might be able to attend, say tentative. But if you're like, I'm not coming to this meeting, but remember, if you decline it, it goes away. Yeah, that gone. invite yeah. goes away. It's gone. It's, I mean, it goes to your deleted items, but it's sort of like following is sort of saying, I'm not going, no, I'm not going to be there but I want to keep track of this meeting. I want to remember that it's occurring. So it's sort of that that new fourth choice. Yeah, I feel like for me personally, I had gotten myself into the habit quite a long time ago. It's like if a meeting was coming up and I didn't want to go to it or I couldn't go to it is either I didn't respond and then it stayed on my calendar yeah. and I told the meeting organizer that I didn't respond or I hit tentative because maybe I'll come, but maybe yep. I won't. But I think that the follow option is interesting because it's going to, and I'll scroll up here real quick, not at general availability, but shortly after. That could be one day, it could be two weeks, it could be two months. But sometime after that, it is actually going to alert the meeting organizer that you chose to follow. And then yep. it will tell them, hey, you might want to record this because Stacy is following the meeting. She probably won't be Great. here, but if you follow it, and Stacy has Copilot, right. she can recap the meeting. Oh, we stuck Copilot in there. I already met, I I already, you know, I already <sighs> talked about it with OneNote. I ruined it. I put a little dinger on the bottom I of the know, screen. I know, the little Copilot count. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that it's an interesting feature. I'm ex- excited to see how users end up using this and real time or in the real world situations, or if it just becomes, it's the same thing as it's always been. It's just, you see a lot of your meeting invites continue to just say no response on them. Right. So this is, this is one where I'm like, oh my gosh, we so need this. You and I probably both know, know a few serial meeting acceptors, you know, where, you know, they accepted it, but they're, you know they're not coming, right? Well, so, and I mean, some of that too is just there is actually a setting in Outlook that allows you, you can to auto accept, default, right? accept every meeting. 
But I, I will say, we all, the way that we want our calendar to look, the way that we interact with our calendar tends to be very obviously self-centered, right? Yep. I'm going to not respond to that meeting invite because I don't want to lose it. But it doesn't indicate back to the organizer whether I'm actually coming or not. Um, and you and I know that when we start a meeting and we think someone might be coming, we might not start that meeting on time, you know, all that sort of stuff. So this is one of those things where when this comes out in your organization, not only should you tell your end users about it, but it may be a good idea to revisit or say, give some scenarios to people to change their habits around how they're you know, that you get to have it both ways. You get to have the calendar that you want to look at and the organizers of your meetings get to know truly whether you are definitely coming, definitely not coming <laughs> or maybe coming. And yeah. we've tend to use those, but, you know, before we only had three choices instead of four and we developed maybe some not so great habits around using those three choices. So it's a good one to, to reinforce in your organization. I mean, I, for one, think that I will use it on a meeting where I know that I'm not going to attend rather than say tentative or just not respond. I think that I will hit follow. So yep. we'll tell our PM or whoever's right. running the meeting, hey, can you hit record on this? Because I actually want to get exactly. caught Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I think this is a good, this is just meeting culture has evolved. And I'm so happy that tools like Outlook and Teams we're not just going to keep doing the same thing that we always have. This fourth option, I know it's not a big deal for some people, but honestly, if I'm a project manager and I see, you know, I go to that status call and I see 15 people didn't re even respond, what is that supposed to mean to me, right? Should I wait? Should I record? What What's happening? So hopefully, again, for you project managers out there, my hope is that you'll start to see some follows pop back up and you'll understand those people probably aren't coming, but it's like Scott said, it's a good moment to hit record and make sure that you're sharing updates on those meetings with everyone. Yep. And again, it's going to start rolling out late this month. So right now, as we're sitting here, is it might be actually going out to target members. I haven't seen it just yet, but it should be out soon. And then most folks that aren't in targeted release will have it by the end of July. Right. So about right. midway Absolutely. through the summer.